good morning and uh, happy Labor Day to you. Today's seeding day and I wanted to go over real quick what we're going to be using in the today's process to wrap everything up. I decided to go with Jonathan Green's Black Beauty Dense Shade Mix. As you've seen throughout the video, if this isn't a dense shade, I'm not sure what is. I've never used a dense shade mix or any Jonathan Green product for that matter, but I've heard great things. Um, shout out to Yard Mastery um, for always hooking it up with the products. So thank you, Al, and the team. This bag right here states that it will cover 2100 square feet on a new seating and if you were over seating with this it would cover 4200 square feet and see what we when we're looking at the, the tag over here we can see that we've got a uh, predominantly fescue well you got two varieties of tall fescue uh, a variety of perennial ryegrass to get that quick germination you got a chewing fescue in there a creeping red fescue uh, deep blue Kentucky bluegrass and it is most of those are between 15 and 19 percent we're going to be putting this down at the full rate again this bag says it covers 2100 square plenty of seed to do a, a bare seeding as you know this isn't a completely bare seeding it's pretty close so we're going to go with it we're going to treat it like it's a bare seeding we're going to be using the Scots mini and then I got a small hand spreader to get into some nooks and crannies. We'll follow that up with a blanket application of tenacity with a surfactant. Got to use, oh wait, I don't need a surfactant for this. We'll be using that to stave off any weed pressure we get while this is going on. We're going to hit it with RGS and Green Pop from Green County Fertilizer. The Green Pop, it's a 16212 high phosphorus for really getting that seed up out and into the ground and then RGS man even on a holiday so the 16 21 2 will get the seed germinated and into the ground and the RGS will assure that we get those roots driving down deep into the soil level the RGS will be coming along for the ride for the um, secondary steps for feeding the turf stand. And I use RGS all the time in my the program I run at my house and will run here. We'll put all we'll put these two products out with my Blue Mule 50B. I'll, I'll have a video coming on this. I know uh, I had promised one, but I didn't think it was fair to make a, a review video without a season of using it because this thing is worth every penny and more but we'll talk about that in a dedicated video so it's time to put out the seed seven pounds per thousand rate let's do it
we've got a good bit done. Now I'm going to go and anywhere where I see it's thin and then around the edges where I want to be careful not to put it in the mulch, I'm going to hand spread with this uh, hand spreader. Now that everything's been raked in, we're going to go after with the tenacity. I'm not going to show you how to mix it up. There's plenty of videos on how to do it. We're using approximately uh, 0.33 ounces per thousand square foot. Uh, tenacity comes with a little plunger. Might have to do a little bit of calculations. That's a different video for a different time. So we got this mixed up. I'm going to spray it out, broadcast over the stand. Tenacity's down. I'm not concerned too much about weeds. Um, you can only focus on so many things. If a weed pops up here and there, we'll take care of that when the time comes. You can't focus on getting a good grow in and worry about weeds. And just focus on the grow in, fix the weeds later. So the last thing we're gonna do to kind of water this all in, and then I think we're gonna go to Lowe's or Home Depot, pick up a couple uh, blankets for this little hill over here. But uh, we're gonna put down the green pump, the 16212 at 12 ounces per thousand. So 24 ounces of this over the 2000 square foot. And then RGS at six ounces per thousand. So 12 ounces of that. So we'll spray that out. We'll be pretty much done other than blanketing that hill over there. Green pop down, tenacity down, RGS down, watered everything just a little bit to tack it down. We're gonna run to Home Depot real quick. We're gonna get a few uh, soil blankets for this hillside right here. And while we're at it, we're gonna pick up a new sprinkler because the one my dad's gonna use is, it's past its prime to say the least. So it's done and uh, we're gonna go run and get that stuff. So, uh, We'll catch you in a minute. We, uh, we went to Home Depot, and, or Lowe's, sorry. We went to Lowe's and got some seating mat for this hillside here. And we also got a new sprinkler for my dad to use and stay on top of the watering. Tested out some uh, different areas to put the sprinkler system so that uh, we can gauge the coverage and he's gonna stay on top of that. But the main things we're gonna have to watch out for is along these sidewalks, because that's where the water's gonna tend to want to run I feel like every time I'm trying to film somebody is within a few houses is cutting grass so that's it the seed is laid all we got to do now is stay on top of our water and hope for good 
solid weather patterns. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 93 degrees. Luckily, my dad's retired, so he can he's really in a good position to uh, stay on top of the watering. And uh, hopefully, pretty soon I'm coming to you with an update and we've got some grass germinating. Happy Labor Day. We'll see you.